Pew Pew fans. I am walking around with one of our customers outside the pawn shop here, and I wanted to show you all that. I've been promising you plants videos for a while, and I wanted to show you this one right here. This is growing wild, as you can see, right beside the building right here in town. All right? This is miner's lettuce. It is a thistle. It grows wild, and if you'll watch, see the pretty milky white sap? That's the part you want. That has to be cooked down. You better look up your prescriptions, your doses, because that right there is pure natural morphine. No shit. Enjoy. Pew pew. Ready? Yep. Okay. So before I go any further with any of the plants videos, I wanted to put a disclaimer out there. I'm a self-taught survivalist. I'm self-taught on these plants. I am no expert by any means. So take the basic information that I give you and seek more info before you attempt using any of these plants, okay? Uh, just for your own safety. Also, when you're picking plants, you're foraging, try to leave enough behind for next year's growth to come back. That way you're not completely wiping out whatever it is that you're trying to gather. Um, also, taste sample. Just a little bit, just little bits, little bites. That way it gives you a chance to make sure that you're not getting something that's a poisonous lookalike. And also so that you're testing to make sure that you're not allergic to it. So try to remember those safety rules and uh, you'll be okay with ed these edible, medicinal, and useful plants. Now, on another note, I just posted the video about miner's lettuce. Um, it is also called prickly lettuce. A lot of local people call it miner's lettuce. There is a different breed that is known as miner's lettuce. That is the actual miner's lettuce. So make sure you look that one up. Look at the difference in them. If the difference is noticeable, hugely noticeable. Um, this book here, Edible Wild Plants in North America, is one of my favorites. As you can see, this copy is wore out. I've got all kinds of notes in it and stuff. Pages are falling out. So I've used it so much. But the prickly lettuce is in here in black and white. And it talks about how it can be used to make morphine. Again, look up more information. All I'm doing is giving you the basic information. So if you want to know more about the plants that I'm showing you in the future videos, Edible Wild Plants in North America. Here's a newer copy of it from the Department of the Army. Okay, and another great book is Backyard Medicine. Look into these books, invest in them, read them. This one actually gives you some of the dosing uh, and the, the ways to prepare stuff like the natural morphine that I showed you earlier. Um, again, folks, I cannot stress how important it is to make sure you sample. Sample, sample, sample. And enjoy. More videos coming soon. Pew pew. All right, pew pew fans, here we go. Wild onion. Let's see if we can get a root ball to come up. Nope, too grown in. But there's the head of wild onion. I'll have to dig it out to do any further than that. Nope, smells of onion. Eats of onion. Wild onion. Totally edible. Here's another one for you. Rod leaf plantain. Edible as a salad green. What else do we got over here? Yeah, not seeing anything else right away, but there you go. I swore I saw something a minute ago. What was it? Ah, here it is all the way over here. Yep. I knew I saw something else in here. There you go. Sour dock. Otherwise known as yellow dock. Summer green, cook it like you just just like you do uh, collard greens. All right, there you go, Pew Pew fans. There's a few more plants. Okay, Pew Pew fans, here we go. I stopped over here. What, what was your name, sir? Uh, Cirillo. Cirillo? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Cirillo's house right around the road from my home. And he has a big old willow tree in his front yard. Here's kids playing with the dinosaurs. <laughs> nah, he's okay, sir. Uh, anyway, for those of you who don't know, willow is a natural painkiller. Willow has salicin in it, which is, is, is the same thing that's in aspirin. And what you want is these twigs 
Okay, you want these twigs right here. You want a big bundle of these twigs, about six to eight twigs, about yay long. I broke it up. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, the leaves are good too. Yeah. Okay, or you want the the clean white inner bark. Okay, you, you take either one of those and you steep it in hot water with a little honey and lemon and it makes willow tea, which helps with pain, fever, headache, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, a bunch of stuff like that. Now you can also take those same twigs and, and you take a whole mason jar full of them. A quart mason jar, oh he's okay, he hurt himself, it happens. <laughs> Kids hurt themselves, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he'll, he'll be okay. He dropped his dinosaur. But anyway, like I was saying, you take it and you put the, the willow in a clear 40 or 80 proof alcohol for six to eight weeks. And then you extract the juice, throw the willow away, and you can use the alcohol willow as a muscle rub. Willow, really good stuff. Thank you for letting me yell at your willow tree. <laughs> Neighbors are cool. Yeah. Enjoy the dinosaur. Y'all have a good day. Yeah, There you go, Pew Pew fans. Growing right here in my backyard. That is Daisy Fleabane. Daisy Fleabane is a natural insect repellent. Rub it all over yourself, rub it all over your dogs, drives your skeeters and ticks away. Good stuff.